We all know the vast majority of scientists believe that mankind is causing global warming. But there are still some skeptics who say that it's not our fault, that the changes in the Earth's climate are due to the sun's activity. I spent six years researching solar irradiance, and that's variations in the sun's energy output. And the models I developed were used by climatologists to try and work out how the sun can influence the Earth's climate. The sun is constantly changing. For instance, surges of magnetic activity cause sunspots. But since sunspots generally come and go on a regular basis, they don't make a difference to the temperature down here. For the sun to have a significant effect on our climate, its average energy levels would need to rise or fall for several decades at a time. But we know in the past this has happened, and when it did, the effect on the Earth's climate was dramatic. My research was based on historic observations made at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. And just as this was being built in 1675, something strange was happening with the sun. Back then, this was state-of-the-art. It was the first dedicated scientific research facility in Britain. But during the second half of the 17th century, there were hardly any sunspots for the astronomers here to observe. It looked as though the sun's activity had mysteriously just dropped away. And at the same time, the northern hemisphere was plunged into a mini ice age. Frost fairs were held on the surface of the River Thames, which froze over, sometimes for months. It's amazing to think, just a few centuries ago, during winter, I could have walked over there. All the evidence suggests that the sun's life is just like many of ours, sometimes very active, sometimes asleep. So this begs the question, could global warming be caused by the sun just going through a really active phase? Now the 20th century has seen the sun at its most active for hundreds of years, and some researchers even believe thousands of years. For the first 60 years of the 20th century, as the sun's activity increases, so does global temperature. And you can understand why some people believe that the sun could be causing global warming. But the data for the last 30 years tells us a different story. The sun's average energy output hasn't increased, but global temperature has shot up. And this means there must be another cause of global warming. Sadly, that cause must be us, human activity. I'm afraid the sun doesn't let us off the hook.